Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Hope you guys are well and safe. I just want to say that I woke up like at 6 a.m. this morning. I had a really interesting dream last night. So somebody here, you might resonate with this energy, okay? I had a specific dream that somebody that I know, I feel this connection with this person in my real life, but me and this person never been together. We never had um, a sexual connection together. We never even chilled together. We never even hung out together like in real life, um, but we have some sort of connection. This person was in my dreams. This person was in my dreams, this individual was basically like beating off the competition. There was other people around us and they were trying to get my attention. This person was very like protective over me, very defensive, basically pushing everybody away from me in the dream and um, confessing the way they were feeling for me to me. And I was shocked in my dream, like what? I did not understand why this person came out of nowhere in my dream telling me all these things, the way this person felt about me. Okay, so somebody here, you could be... Uh, receiving some sort of telepathic communication from this person in your life somebody really has deeper feelings for you and you this person never ever told you the the, the way they actually feel for you 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 guys could just be friends maybe you uh spoke to this person a few times message one another basically uh you you could have known this person all your life um like growing up in the community but this person never expressed to you the way they were feeling this person could be a bit older than you for some of you guys watching, okay? Just a couple years older than you. This person um, could have watched you grow up. This person could have watched you grow up. You could have known each other throughout your life. But this person was like, maybe you felt like this person was out of your league or you didn't notice this person because they were a bit older than you and they were, you know, they were into different things or whatever the case may be. This is specific for someone. Somebody is thinking deeply about you. They feel like you've had a glow up. They watch you online somehow on a platform, whatever social media you have. This person sees you got other suitors or like you have a lot of options or people like really want your attention. This person could be seeing people commenting under your stuff, um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're posting, or this person just uh, knows Okay, this person could know, this person could see you, maybe they're, they live close to you. For some of you guys, they live close. For others of you, this person does not live close to you, but they're making arrangements. It's you and me, I'm making arrangements. I, I think that's uh, Dej Loaf. It's me and you, we're making arrangements. I don't know who that is, you guys could tell me, I just heard that. And this person's making arrangements to get closer to you for somebody watching. Now, also, I have a lot of channel messages. I even have a poem, so I got to talk a little bit fast to get all these messages out in this video. Aries, I heard spirits say white noise. You guys could be very sensitive to white noise, okay? So white noise could be significant to somebody watching. White noise, all right? There's, uh, there's an energy, an ancestor that could be in your home, that could be moving things around, knocking things over, making the light flicker. Uh, you could be seeing shadows. You could be feeling like somebody's there behind you, watching you. You see a sudden shadow, but when you turn around, no one's there. I feel like you activated a portal to a new dimension. If you are doing a lot of meditation work, if you're listening to a lot of meditations, if you're listening to high frequency sounds, if you're doing mantras, mantras, or sound bowls, and you guys are actually time traveling or uh, astro, astro traveling, then you guys are accessing some sort of uh, portal. You guys have accesses, ac activated or accessed a portal to a new timeline, a new dimension. So you guys, all blockages are removed. Your money blockages are being removed. You're starting to get a lot of downloads and intuitions about... Uh, your sacred path, what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime. You're getting a lot, you're having a lot of spiritual breakthroughs right now. Some of you guys could be time travelers or you're connected to a time traveler, somebody that's gonna approach you in real life. You're gonna meet this person. This person is gonna be very highly intellectual as yourself. You guys are meant to do uh, something great on earth, discover certain things and teach others about this, okay? So white noise, you could be hearing ringing in your ears. That could be significant. 
I heard the watchers, okay? So then I heard the watchers sent to make sure you don't access the light codes. Wow. So you could, if somebody watching this video, I'm, I'm about to do a collective video later on today, guys. So look out for the collective video that I'm about to post later on today for you guys. This collective video uh, is going to be significant to the watchers in your communities, in your lives, individually, wherever you go. You feel like these people are watching you. You feel like everything is a trap or a setup or everybody's coming towards you on some um, agenda. You feel like you're being watched everywhere you go. Agent Smiths could be following you around or they could be um, in your dreams. You could have seen the Agent Smiths in your dreams. All right. You are very significant to this time on earth. You were meant here, uh, sent here to activate the energy and vibration of Mother Gaia. Something to do with healing Mother Gaia. Activating others' intuitions. Your purpose is so powerful that you're being watched. You're being stalked. Everybody, wherever you go, you feel like people stare at you or they follow you when you're driving in traffic. You feel like your uh, people are targeting you at this time. People that you used to know are not the same people anymore. They're acting weird around you. This part of the message is for you if you resonate with that. All right, so the watchers that were sent to make sure you don't access the light codes. The watchers could also be your neighbors. They could be anywhere in your life. They're being placed by the, uh, hmm. I heard by the, um, I heard Anunnaki. So by the Archons, Anunnaki, the reptiles, you guys already know. You guys are, uh, you guys come from uh, a part of the universe that is very high vibrational, where you fought galactic wars before in your past life. You know sacred geometry or you're getting light codes to sacred geometry because you have to discover how to heal without medicine or you have to teach the world about healing methods without medicine. Okay, that's specific. All right, you're supposed to teach people how to teleport or astral travel, or this is what you're mastering. You were meant to teach people how to communicate telepathically by breaking your silence. So breaking your silence has them watching your every move. That's for somebody specific. You guys are protected. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with Aquarius, you could be dealing with another Aries. Alright, this, this person is ending a connection. This person is going to be ending a connection for good. This person is ending connections or cutting ties with people in their life. They're going into hermit mode, they're going into the hermit phase. Okay, this could be a Virgo. They're ending a connection that was keeping them stuck from being with you. Okay, this person feels like they have a very powerful connection to you. Very intense. This could be a twin flame dynamic or a past life soulmate connection. But you, this person feels like they have a very intense connection to you. Or you guys had a very intense sexual connection. If you guys had you know, interactions with this person before. But you guys would break up to make up. Break up to make up. Or you guys would ghost one another and then talk again. For some of you guys, that never happened with this person. Like I said, I had a dream about somebody I'd never been with before. This person could just be uh, feeling like they have a strong connection to you as well. Some of you guys already been with this person. Some of you guys have not. This message is going to resonate differently. This person is planning to move closer to you guys. Whoever you are, they're going to surprise you when they reach out, when they show up. This person is telling you they want it all with you, they're, or they're going to be telling you they want it all with you. This person is feeling a deep soul connection to you, okay? So Gemini, Scorpio, another Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, could be uh, also could be a, a Capricorn or a Virgo. They could have these placements anywhere in their chart. doesn't have to be their sun sign. This could be any, any placements that you have in your chart as well, Okay. So I'm going to read to you guys the poem that I channeled this poem for you guys. This poem is going to resonate with you. It's part of the message. And then I'm going to um, pull some cards here. The pain runs deep. All I want is peace. To be who I'm meant to be. A magical star so different from all. In the distance, I heard a call. I saw a hawk, it gazed at me, 
gave me a message. This is all a karmic lesson to trust your intuition. Stop reminiscing and create new blessings. The ones who betrayed you will soon return. They needed to learn that playing with fire, you always get burned. No longer your concern. In the end, you get what you deserve. Amen. Ooh, I love this poem. I just got this poem this morning at 6 a.m. I was just channeling a whole bunch of messages. I even channeled a whole bunch of messages for the next video that I'm going to do for the collective, okay? I heard Jeremy or Jerry. Jeremiah. I heard Stefan or Stefan. I heard Linda. I heard Lance. I heard Carter. I heard Martin. I heard Zoriah or Mariah. Let's get into this video, my loves. Let's see what Spirit has to say with the cards, with the tarot, what's coming in, what's going on around you. My beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. What's going on, Spirit, with the tarot, with these messages? I got a lot of messages, guys, so I just wrote them all down. They're going to resonate with who they need to resonate with. What is the messages for the Aries main energy? What do they need to be? Wow. Okay, I already saw the devil card when I was, like, shuffling this deck. The seven of swords in the reverse, okay? The devil can't trap you. The devil's having a hard time binding you, keeping you stuck, blinding you, getting you caught up. Like, whoever the devil is in your energy, this is somebody that won't give up trying to manipulate you. Even if it's not them, they won't give up sending other people towards you to manipulate you, trying to get some information, trying to see what you got going on, trying to get some evidence or something like that. Yeah, they're blocked. So rejection is your protection. If this person all of a sudden ghosted you or stopped communicating with you or uh, did something to upset you, you guys had an argument and now you uh, are not speaking together, uh, you're not speaking to one another at this point. Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy here. This person was blocked by your ancestors for a reason because this person did, came towards you on some sneaky energy trying to keep you stuck or manipulate you or get some sort of information about you. All right, to block your uh, blessing, your opportunity. So the, the Nine of Swords fell on the floor. So this is the Nine of Swords energy. This person is in now in the Nine of Swords. Okay, because whatever they was trying to uh, manifest in your life, whatever they was trying to do strategically or get away with, they feel like they, you know, like I said, they're blocked now. They could be blocked in a dark timeline. They could be having nightmares while they're sleeping. This person could be waking up a lot at night. This could be happening to you as well. Because whatever this person was doing strategically, they was trying to bind you to some sort of contract. They was trying to bind you in some sort of dark timeline. Ooh. Yeah. What is this card? Ooh, so the King of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are about to level up hard. Or you guys are leveling up hard. Like you're mastering something. You're inventing something. You're creating something. You're bringing something into fruition. All right? And you have a stable foundation or you're building yourself a stable foundation or a king of pentacles, male or female, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want to build a stable foundation with you. Mm. Like I said, this you might have never been with this individual. You might have been with them or you might have not. But they feel like drawn to you. This person is so focused on work, 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 work. This person's work work so much they overwork all right so they barely have time to like put a plan together and how they're gonna come towards you or how they're gonna communicate or what they want to offer you specifically but this person is making time because they keep dreaming about you they keep fantasizing about you male or female this could be a male or female they keep fantasizing dreaming about you they keep thinking about it so much like this person could be uh taking a vacation from work to put some plan together to give you this major offer. They could be taking some time off of work. Or this person could be moving closer to where you live. This person could be coming closer to you. Mm. 
-hmm. Now somebody's completely isolated from your energy or they're like uh, having a major tower moment or realization about who you are. Yeah, that they should have just been genuine. They should have never signed up for it. They signed up for something. Now that things are backfiring, this person just doesn't, like, this person don't even, um, don't get no sleep. This is somebody that's not really sleeping a lot. They're not getting any sleep, like I said. This person is aware that, uh, you're, you're getting a new contract or, like, you're meant to have success or that somebody is interested in you. They're aware of this. The lovers in reverse, yeah, you uh, took back your energy because this person only brought you a lot of conflict, orchestrated a lot of betrayals, brought a lot of nasty energy to your life. This person um, could be experiencing this right now, a lot of backlash, a lot of conflict because they could have did conflict spells on you in order to create conflict in your life. Somebody here could be going through a major fight, argument over a betrayal. They could be having a sudden uh, separation, tower moment, divorce, or from somebody they were dealing with, all right? They put this person on a pedestal, or they put this person before you, or they uh, use this person in order to get at you, to make you feel some type of way, or to work against you. Everything came back to hit this person. Everything backfired, whatever they was planning. Like I said, yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse, this is somebody that came to you, but they didn't really want you to know their intentions or they wasn't telling you the full truth about all the people that they were connected to, that they were giving information about to, about you to. They were all like strategically doing something. Now they're binded. Now they're in the Nine of Wands. I can't make it up. You get the Page of Pentacles. And um, yeah, you got you guys might have heavy earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you're dealing with a heavy earth sign or somebody that has heavy, heavy earth placements. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. This person wants to give you the, the offer. This person ultimately wants to give you the offer. The Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. This is a solid offer. This is something that was meant to happen in divine timing. This was orchestrated by your ancestors as well. I heard Samantha, Sam. I heard Keisha or Kayla, Kenny. A cycle is ending or a cycle ended. Go with the flow. A cycle ended. So don't lose sleep over it. All right. Because the divine is gifting you the ace of pentacles. For some of you guys, it could be a king of cups. This person is ready to open up their heart, open up, or ready to uh, give uh, their cup of love to you, ready to give you this offer, or ready to make something right by you and give you what, what is yours. This King of Cups could be a father figure, a family member. This King of Cups could be somebody that uh, wants to do right by you. They want to gift you something. They want to make things fa fair. They want to tell you the truth about uh, the family secrets, okay? And for others of you, this King of Pentacles... Uh, is coming in with an offer, a stable offer for love, for connection, for a union, for a partnership. This is the will of fortune. This is divine timing. You manifested this, my loves. Okay, so this is what you're manifesting. But there's an ending happening. Somebody's letting go. They're walking away. They feel this strong energy connection towards you. They're ready to put in the work. They're ready to even, you know, balance the scales. This person um, doesn't see any more. Other, this person doesn't have any other options or they don't want any other options, right? Besides you. Hmm. I heard Carissa, Katrina, Larissa. Lorraine, Jesse, I heard Tommy or Tom, Thomas, could be Tammy, Tanika, reciprocity, I want to heal, I want to have an equal give and take, yeah, somebody wants an equal give and take, 
this person could be a different nationality than you. It doesn't have to be. But this person is ready for reciprocity. They're ready for an equal give and take. And you're going to be so shocked to who this person is. Because I don't I don't think that for some of you guys, it's not who you think it is. It could be somebody that you never expected. Okay? For some of you guys, you might know who this person is. Okay? Self-love. Yeah. This person is, is, is currently healing. Somebody could have short blonde hair. It doesn't have to be. Somebody could have, just have short hair. Somebody else could be... Uh, manifesting you because they started the self-love journey this could be you you could be manifesting your person because you're on your self-love journey they regret everything that happened you you know what this person regrets everything that happened yeah they're in they're in deep regret when it comes to you aries yep they want to fix the connection they want to mend everything by healing themselves by walking away from people by isolating themselves they're working they're they're planning on um giving you everything you know like they want to have it all with you they want to tell you everything they want to lay it all out there they want to tell you exactly how they're feeling they're not going to be holding back because this is the reason why they sabotage the connection by being dishonest before by not being real honest they know they have to be honest in this situation yeah but they know you're irreplaceable yeah, they really know you're irreplaceable. The love that you gave to them, the connection you guys shared, regardless of what it was, very magnetic. It was powerful. They could not ever replace you, okay? The way that I love, the way that I love, the way that I love you. Ashanti, the way that I love you. Unappreciated. Mm. Yeah, you're over feeling unappreciated by people. You're over letting extend, overextending your energy. You're over doing the most and not, you know, feeling appreciated. All right, you're, you took a step back and started to give to yourself. And that is, that's what caused this whole spark of energy to occur. That's what caused this person to like shift their timeline as well or shift their energy, the way of thinking. And they are sorry for holding back. They've been holding back, but they're coming in. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are just taking care of your responsibilities, your children. You got to focus on your responsibilities. Maybe somebody here was not focused on the responsibilities in a connection. They were leaving it all to you. Like, you're done doing that. You're done carrying the heavy burden. You're done doing the work, most of the work. Now you're focused on yourself, and now every, all the tables have turned in your favor. And, um, yeah, this person is coming in because they are convinced that you are their soulmate. They're convinced that they'll never have another connection like the one they have with you. All right, my loves. Yeah, this is your reading. This is your message. I hope this helped you. I love you guys. Stay tuned for the collective video that's coming up. Okay, after this one. Till the next time, if you need a personal, reach out. My email is down below. If you're interested in Crown Chakra, please let me know. Crown Chakra is the truth. You will love this product. You won't find it nowhere else. Okay, till the next time, my loves. Namaste.